Evansville has a long history of brewing beer that dates back into the 1800s and culminated at this location in 1997 with Evansville Brewing Company. What's trending in our city now? Microbrews. And today we're going to take a look at three types of brewers. The home brewer, an established brewing business, and a new business that's getting ready to hit Evansville in the very near future. This is the basic home brewing process which replicates what you would see in an industrial setting but much smaller. Back here we're growing black raspberries and uh, that's a fruit that's it's very difficult to find and, and get a hold of across the Midwest. We'll pick this, this whole mess and make a 10 gallon batch of black raspberry beer which is it's my absolute favorite fruit beer. A lot of what we do by mixing honeys and wheats and barleys and fruits, we're, we're actually doing the same thing that's been happening for thousands of years. America just lost their brewing knowledge from prohibition. It destroyed the knowledge of specialty brewing and it's just now starting to come back. What we'd call today craft small breweries, they, they were throughout America just like they were in Europe but it's something you can do so easy in your own house. Cool. So this is a black raspberry grown in the backyard and basically what we did was make about an 8% Belgian triple and then uh, we let the main fermentation take place and we added in the black raspberries which threw it into a, another level of fermentation with the fruit sugars. That, that's uh, over 8%, so that's not your typical um, low, low alcohol beer like you might get in a typical restaurant. Uh, the head brewer down at Taroni's does a lot to support the local brewing group. Um, he buys a lot of stuff in bulk, and then uh, that helps save a lot of people money on things. When I order grain, I let the home brewers know and post it on their website. Our mills? Over there in that hopper downstairs, uh -huh. that big cone shape, right. is right underneath that mill. So I've already ground my grain okay. for tomorrow. Uh, my uh, kettle's full of water and I've cracked the bottom steam jacket a bit. So by the time I get here in the morning, I'll have a kettle full of hot water. I actually add about two barrels of water into the mash tun before I start okay. uh, putting any grain in. We'll, we'll cover up the false bottom there. Then. This hydration cone will spray water on the grain as it's falling into the mash tun, okay. and we stir it up. With the mash pep. With the mash pep. Once the brew's done, it comes out to one of these fermenters. Coming out of the fermenter, it's still a little green, it's still real yeasty. Uh, the, here, the yeast usually settles out. And these are the TDs, and this is going right out to the bar. It's the Honey Blonde, the Blue Eyed Moose IPA, the Thunderbolt Red. It's a German alt beer, our seasonal, uh, the wizard with the mash paddle. It's our Vienna lager right now. The dark beer we have on tap right now is the rye brown. And our Vienna's, our, our Vinny's lager is our Pilsner. So if you're ready to try Evansville's finest local brew, come to any Chironi's and get the Brewski sampler. I'm on location here on Evansville's west side at 7th and Franklin at Indiana's newest brewery, Tin Man Brewing, with owner Nick Davidson and head brewer Sean O'Rear. I'd been a home brewer for a long time, about a decade now, and um, had always been a drinker of craft brew. Uh, and, and you know, when you brew it yourself, you kind of fall in love with with the little guys in the in the craft brew scene and you know the one thing I really felt that was missing from Evansville was a brewery I mean growing up I remember Sterling and um, you know that being gone and, and the actual brewery being gone now I mean they tore it down uh, I, I think people really miss that this right here is just one half of the tasting room we'll have windows into the production floor so you can actually watch us brew this is the actual brewery section of our facility our our stated goal for tin man is this we want to augment the beer culture in evansville we need other breweries we need other uh, brewers ideas we need other people interested in that culture to help make it alive can Evansville support more than one brewery? Absolutely. The three largest U.S. craft brewery supermarkets were on the edge of all three of them. All right, the Great Lakes, which we're in, the Southeast, and then the East. They're all connected to us. 
this is a, a really good distribution hub for a production brewery like we're starting. That's one of the reasons why they thought it would go really well in Evansville. And that's trending in Evansville.